Assalamu alaikum. Let's learn about the parents of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Abdullah grew up, he married Amina bint al-Wahhab. After some time, Abdullah went with a caravan for trade. On returning from his journey, he passed away in Medina before the Prophet was born. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born in Rabi Lawal and was sent to a wet nurse. Let's listen to Fatima and Hamza talk about the early life of the Prophet. Assalamu alaikum Fatima. What are you thinking? Wa alaikum assalam Hamza. I'm thinking of the Prophet sallallahu when he was with his wet nurse. But why did they send their baby to a wet nurse? One of the reasons was to grow up in a healthy atmosphere. Another reason was that the babies can learn pure Arabic. Oh, I remember the wet nurse. It was Halima. You know, Hamza, his mother passed away when he was only six years old. Yes, his grandfather took care of him. But just after two years, he passed away as well. And Abu Talib, his uncle, took care of him. Yes, but he was not completely dependent on him. He started earning money on his own. But how did he earn money at such a young age? In a hadith, he said, I looked after sheep of the people of Mecca in return for some kirat. Kirat was a currency name of the time. Jazakallahu khair, Fatima, for teaching me all this. I gotta go now, but I'm looking forward to learning more next time. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Hamza. See you next time. Allah says in Surah Duha, Did not we find you an orphan, then we gave you shelter. Referring to the early life of the Prophet ﷺ. The lesson we can get from this is that we never know who anyone will become in the future. In the ending ayat of the surah, Allah says, Do not oppress the orphan and do not repulse the beggar. So we should never look down on any beggar or orphan. Rather, we should help them and respect them. Wassalamu alaikum.